Hello, thank you for watching this video. I use this circuit controller here to control the aeration rate and that all depends on the water column height. It's triggered to come on at that point. As it rises and it gets up to this point, then it'll um, it'll speed up and it'll speed up more at this point here and it'll speed up to its maximum uh, rate of aeration at the top terminal here. In order to quantify the speed that the uh, that the motor is turning at, there is a optical sensor on on this uh, harness here. There's an optical sensor, and depending on the rate at which this motor turns, you're going to you're going to see frequency uh, changes accordingly over here. You're going to see more frequency for a higher spin rate. Also, the LEDs LEDs over here will correspond to the water level trigger points which are over here so let's go ahead and get this started up as you can see at this level the motor just started up you can see one LED here it's triggered off the motor is turning we're getting aeration here which is your stream of water it's up to the first electrode there and as you can see on the oscilloscope you have a frequency it's not completely stable but for the most part it varies only within a certain range it reflects exactly what the motor is doing there is some fluctuation but for the most part not that much so let's go up to the next second level here and you'll see things speed up a little bit more happen this happened you probably heard it you can see where it's at you can see what the aeration looks like the stream is a little bit more stronger you can see that the frequency has gotten faster so if we go here and we fill what up to the very next level zoom out so you can see everything here And then if we go all the way to the top, and that is the system, how the system works. You see at the top of the uh, notch there, you get a higher frequency. This is your aeration rate, which has sped up. You see that the motor is still spinning hopefully you can hear it audibly that it's sped up all of my LEDs are on over here as discrete indicators of water level okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let the water out as I let the water out and it goes past those particular terminals then it will adjust accordingly so this is kinda hard without an assistant So I'm draining it into this uh, container here. So you can see that we went down one level and the speed decreased. One LED is off, that top LED. See the frequency there, which is indicative of motor speed. Then we went down another speed. The frequency got a little larger. The LED reflects that. We're about to hit another level pretty soon. So we've gone down to that level. It'll take us, uh, that's our frequency there. We only have one LED on. So we only have one more discrete terminal to pass, which is further down to the bottom. The motor is still going. Our aeration speed has gone down. So what this means is that we're using less power. 
so based on the demand of uh, of the wastewater processing needs we're adjusting the speed accordingly um, it doesn't make sense to have a motor going on full speed when you have less water to treat or less water to process that's the whole entire point of um, constructing the system coming up with the idea with the invention is to increase efficiency and of course an increase in efficiency is going to be a money saving so that's the sales pitch of it getting close to the bottom here so right when it passes that level it will turn off and that's exactly what it has done if I rock this back and forth because we're, we're on the margin there if I rock it back and forth we'll, we should see this turn on and off which we do we'll see how it is there see how it is here and we'll see how it is there Thank you for watching this video. That concludes the experiment.